It was an early morning. Carol was standing outside her house waiting for her best friend Simon to pick her up. She even had her own car, but her car was in full of repairs and she wouldn't have been having it for a while, so when she mentioned this, mentioned this to Simon, he offered to drive her to school. He only lived like four houses down from her, and when he offered this, she didn't mind. They have been best friends since elementary school, and she even saw him like a brother. And as she was standing there, she suddenly heard a car drove up. She saw it was Simon. She didn't waste a second. She, she walked around the car and hopped in, and they drove out to school. Thanks for this always, uh, for picking up the school, though, Simon. Ah, uh, no problem. You know when always help my best friend in need. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I probably do the same thing to you. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. By the way, so have you and Annabelle any plans for the weekend? Um, yeah, we're actually planning to go out to do the movies. Oh, that's great. You need any left there? Uh, no, we take our own car. All right. Carol and Annabelle have been dating since the first year of high school. They were now in their senior year, so for about four years. It was actually Simon who introduced Carol to Annabelle from the start. And from the beginning, they became very really good friends. But after four months, Carol realized she had developing feelings for Annabelle. And thanks to her, her friend Simon's a lot of encouragement and advices, Carol decided to tell Annabelle about her feelings, and to her biggest astonishment, Annabelle even had feelings for Carol herself, but she hadn't even told her that because she was a bit shy girl, and she was a little bit didn't know how to tell. Her. So Annabelle's friend Max gave her the same encouragement and same advices and speeches how to approach Anna to approach Carol. And when Carol asked Annabelle to be her girlfriend, she said that she said yes. But they only told a select few people at the school about their relationship. And for a very good reason as well. And that reason was the bully couple. Claudia and Miles. They were the same age as Carol and Annabelle. They were known as a school bully couple. They have been bully students since the very, from the very first day when they started high school together. A lot of students have been bullied by them ever since. And that's the reason for why Carol and Annabelle didn't want to tell everyone about their relationship. Because they didn't want to be the next target. Even though the school has a strict non-bullying policy. But the question is then, how could Claudia and Miles not have been caught by anyone? Well, they are very sneaky about their plans, about their ways of bullying. Because they have been, when they choose a target, they bullied it so badly, so almost so terrified, so that the student wouldn't tell a teacher or even the principal about this. So their reign of terror of bullying had even gone by any notice by any of the staff. And that is the reason why Carol and Annabelle didn't even want to tell any management people about their relationship. Because they didn't want to be next target by either Claudia or Miles or both of them. They know them really well about their tactics and their ways of bullying. They only verbally uh, are bullying people, not physically. And even though a few students actually even drop out of high school either during the first or the second year. And that is another of a few reasons why Carol and Annabelle and some of their friends well, all agreed not to have it even mentioned. But how it is possible that anyone had even been telling the teachers about this? Well, since, since Claudia and Miles very, or very sneaky about their tactics. They decided to just simply target a random students at any random times. And they got multiple targets at the same time as well. But it's supposed to know that which many hated Claudia and Miles. 
In fact, they claimed to have many friends at the school, but it turned out even those so-called friends were also targeted by them and or even somehow blackmailed so they would even tell anyone. It was actually Simon who found out that some of the students that dropped out of school was targets by Miles and Claudia. When Carol and Simon arrived at school, Carol went to her locker to get some of the books that she needed, and then she went to see Annabelle. She was by her locker by herself. Annabelle was very happy to see Carol which they gave each other a hug. And as they were just talking, they did notice Claudia and Miles standing in the, in the same hallway, just a little bit further down, by Claudia's locker. And they were targeted, another one of the targets, a young student, probably in their, his third year, and they called him ugly, four-eyed, or nerd, that no girl would like him. That was one of the most common tactics of bullying other students. And suddenly the bell rang and Annabelle told Carol that they would see each other during the lunch break or in the cafeteria. Both said yes, said nodded and went to the classes. Around lunch break in the cafeteria, Carol and Annabelle sat together with their friends Simon and Max. They were just talking about some of the classes they had together and some of the upcoming classes. But one topic came up. And that was the prom. Since the prom was very close and they were just talking about who they're going to go with. Simon had asked one girl out and she said, and she said yes. Max did, did, had done the same thing, but they both knew that Annabelle and Carol would go together as the prom date. But there was only a small problem. They wouldn't have to act like a, just friends at the prom, not as a couple. Even though there were a few people at the school knew about it already. But as they were just having lunch, suddenly Claudia walked up to the table and said, So, Annabelle, are you going to the, girl, to the prom with your girlfriend, Carol, this year? Both Annabelle and Carol just looked at each other like, How in the world did she even know or if, how did she find out? And even to the, their defense, Simon like, so if they're so even if they are going to the to prom as a couple, what is that for you? It doesn't even bother you, does it? No, but it's just it's just weird. And you know, girls shouldn't be dating girls. That was an offensive to both Carol and Annabelle. But Max just tuned in and said, "So what? It's already accepted now these days. So what?" Don't you think it's wrong? No. I mean, if they love each other, they should be one the one they love the most. Oh yeah? So are you dating Simon then, Max? No, he's my friend. I even had a date for the prom. So if it was to bring place and kind, just leave us alone? Ah, uh, so that what it is. Oh well. Hey, people! Claudia yelled out. Did you know that Carol and Annabelle are dating? People just turned around from the tables and looked and some actually said, Yeah, so what? Wait, you guys knew about this? Turned out, a few of the people that they knew were actually in the cafeteria. But others were just surprised out of the news. But one of the students like, Yeah, so what if they're dating? It was ever, what is up to you? I mean, you're dating Miles, aren't you? And Miles, who also in the cafeteria, stood up and said, Yeah, so what? And she's right. Girls shouldn't be dating girls. And so what, Miles? You have to be quiet about this now, said another student. You shut up! And both Miles and Claudia started still having an argument with Annabelle and Carol about this. But a few of the students actually told them just to back off and leave and leave them alone. In the end, which they did, but Carol's like, I doubt that since the last time we have heard of that problem. <sighs> yeah, that might be so, said Simon with an almost but evil grin. You know, I didn't figure out that they might just target us, but the question is the most to be answered. 
with that, Annabel said. How did he find out about us? said Carol. I mean, I knew that our friends would even tell us. I mean, do you think so? Unless they had been targeted and, you know, bullied by them and tried to figure out any deep secrets they didn't know about the students, said Max. I mean, you know that they usually use that tactic as well. Yeah, that might so. But can you two figure out, you know, for us? Anything for my best friend, said Max and Simon. And after school was over, Carol was driven home by Simon as always. And the next few days, around two days later, Carol and Annabelle were summoned by Simon in a hallway during a lunch break, and he said, Well, me and, me and Max had actually asked around to the few people that we told and know about this, and... And... Nothing. What? What do, what do you mean, nothing? They had never told anyone. And I mean, we told those people that we chose them to, to trust. They were honest. They're like... They would have been breaking their promise then to tell anyone. And I do believe them. So how in the world did they find out about us? I mean, we always been secretly at school. I mean, it's not like any school had any policy that allowing the same gender study students to be together, said Annabelle. No, they don't. They only had this uh, bowling policy as far as I know, said Carol. But, you know, I can't try to figure out more, you know, Perhaps ask around more about this, said Simon. Uh, I mean, you, you can do it if you want to, said Anna, Annabelle, but it's already out there, so. But assuming, I at least assume that Annabelle, or at least that Claudia somehow saw us somewhere in the school, or maybe up school somewhere, said Annabelle. That might be so, but... Yeah, that's most mostly most logical answer, said Simon. But let's don't focus about it. Let's focus on the school and our own lives, said Carol with a smile. Even though Carol herself was very little bit upset about this. But both Annabelle and Simon had a good point. There was not much to do to do about this. Now the secret is out, there's nothing they can try to, to deny it. So Rest of the week as went normal, even though now Claudia and Miles had started to target both Carol and Annabelle, just calling some bad names and other slur names, and which all of them just ignored. And when Claudia and Miles did notice that they were just ignoring those words, they were just kind of getting upset that their their normal ways of bullying didn't work. The reasons why it didn't work. Is because that Claudia and that Carol and Annabelle were already aware almost of their common tactics, so they didn't care. So they stepped up a little bit more and started using more words, but still it didn't affect them. But eventually, Annabelle received a letter or at least a note in her locker. It was signed Carol. She was detailing that. It was over between them, that despite of how much of the bowling from Claudia and Miles, she had enough and that she didn't want to be with Annabelle anymore. And Annabelle took this very hard. She believed it was actually from her because the signature of the letter or the note was almost identical as Carol's. And that's around the time when the end of the school, or at least a school day, and she left the school crying. And when Max saw her, hey, Annabelle, what's the matter? But then he was told about it. Say what? Let me see. Ah, uh, you know, this is absolutely fake. What? How do you know? Well, I mean, I have seen some of the, some of the letters that Carol have been giving you. And if you look closely, does that this signature doesn't even look like anything like that? I mean, is there like a, a heart in some of the word, some of the letters? Has she ever used that before? Now you mention it, no, she hasn't. And you think she would even just simply crack about all this? No. Then, 
I think I know who is the culprit. Ah, uh, you mean those two? Yeah, either one of them or both at the same time. You don't have to let them be winning. I mean, if you manage to break you two up, he's still target both of you even despite that. And perhaps you just move on to nice people. But what can we do? Well, how about this? We talk to Annabelle, uh, we talk to Carol and Simon all together about this after school right now and gather enough evidence all about this to present it to the principal to have them whether suspended or even expelled. It wor you think the connection will work? Well, it's worth a try at least. So, so Max drove Annabelle over to Carol's house. Carol called over Simon and he came over. They all talked about this and they all agreed this had to stop now. But they, could just, they couldn't just go over to the principal and telling him all about what happened. Without any actual evidence, it would have been their words against Claudia and Miles. Even if we could just talk to some of the students and have been bullied by them, well, it's a big risk that you just want to deny it, will deny it anyways. Well, if we present that they're recording their statement and and um, present that as an evidence, well, they will still deny that they just lie about it, said Simon back. How about if we could somehow could have Claudia and Miles confessed? Ah, uh, is that as, as if they would even go that far, said Max. But, you know, if we could how somehow record them doing it, a bullying of other students, maybe just, if we could record them doing, maybe just, uh, at least a few students, maybe they could work. Yeah, that, that might work. So they made that the plan. And thanks to their idea, Annabelle and Carol had their phones, so they would have them recorded. So for next week, they decided to do that. Every time they saw Max, Miles, and Claudia either together or themselves bullying about the students, they recorded every single time. And after about almost two to three days, they have at least, at least a dozen of recordings. And after being showing this to some of the students and telling them that they have enough evidence, they had some of the students, those students record being recorded as a video message, or at least a, a statement. Later, they went all to the principal with this information. Oh, um, we are to the senior principal. Have you arranged a meeting with him? No, but it's urgent. Um, let me see if he's have a moment. The principal had a moment to let him in, and he was like, so, what can I do for you all? Um, well, Principal, we have a very much a big problem here at school. You know this uh, non-bullying policy, right? Yes. Well, this is something that very much hasn't been noticed by none of the staff or you. But for the past four years, there have been a couple here at the school being bullied multiple students. Which includes some of, them, some of the students drop out. During, during, during the first and second year, said Annabelle. This is a very, very serious accusation. Do you have any such proof about them? Yes. And Carol and Annabelle presented all the information, all the recordings of themselves and some of the statements from the students they have recorded. The principal watched them all while Annabelle, Carol, Simon, and Max stood in silence and after the principal was finished, his face went to almost very serious red. And he then demanded to know their names, they which he gave them, Claudia and Miles. And after that, he thanked them for everything they had. And what they later found out, that the principal had called their parents and had them summoned to the office when Claudia and Miles got their hair, the ears scolded out by their both parents. And, and that if they tried to deny any of that it was even real, but when a principal showed them the recordings from, from Carol and Annabelle and some of the statements of some of the students, 
they went completely silent and they were pale. For first in their lives they had been caught, and they hadn't even expected this would happen. After they tried to deny at first again that this was just some sort of prank, but the principal didn't even believe their words. In fact, after that he had been had Carol, Annabelle, Simon, and Max left the office, he had called in some of the students that were targeted by the couple. And after he showed them the statements and the evidence, they all come clean. And now he had more evidence to prove it. And they were just really stunned. But the principal told them that they have no when they asked the principal if they're gonna if they're gonna be suspended for two weeks, but he shook his head and said, "No, not this time. From this day forward, you, Claudia, Miles, are now gonna be permanently expelled from this high school." And they start crying and beg the principal to give them a second chance. I would have given you a second chance if this happened just for a few weeks, but they has been going on for four years. Do you expect me to believe in this if there's any such kindness, any real honesty in your feelings? And after that, this is what Max told both Annabelle and Carol that they were expelled, but they were also sent to different schools. Claudia was sent to a school for troubled teenagers. Miles, he was sent to a military school, which his mind, he, in his words, he protested every single day until he was shipped off to that particular school. Carol, Annabelle, Simon, and Max went over to Carol's house and celebrated it. And even all this, Carol actually had even told the families, especially her, her older sister, Sharon. Sharon was about 22 years old. And they were just happy all this was over. And... The rest of the school years, everything went perfectly well. They went to the prom and everyone loved Carol and Annabelle for their doing, having to stop all the terror of bullying at school. After that, both Carol and Annabelle decided not to go to college. They decided to start working right away. Carol was actually offered to work at this Walmart, which she declined because she even offered to work at a pet shop in town, which she accepted. Annabelle, well, she started working. She started working at the local grocery store, and after they've been together for about two more years, around twenty, they decided to get married. They have a small, close wedding for some close friends' family, and and just about two years after that. They wanted to start a family, and lucky for them, Simon was willing to help them. And Carol got pregnant first, and she had a daughter, a son, which they named Jamie, which Simon became the father figure to. And about two years later, Annabelle wanted to be a mother herself, so she asked Simon or Max if she want if they want one of them was willing to help. Max was much willing to help, and she later had a daughter they named Vanessa. Both Carol and Annabelle couldn't be happier to have this. Now they have a small family, and it was just one of the best things that they ever could ever ask for. Carol was just happy that she never felt the pressure of Claudia and Miles during a bullying about her either ending her relationship with Annabelle or drop out of high school. Annabelle told her to just endure some of the pain or the bullying that they're causing. And Carol agreed. And all this, Carol and Annabelle were just happy that they managed to have the stop of this constant bullying in high school. They were considered as heroes for a while at the high school. And their love for each other only grew stronger for each single day. And this is how Carol and Annabelle from the true love of the big family together 
the end.